Good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make some paint uh, from stuff that you might have in your own kitchen. Uh, you're going to need some flour. It doesn't matter what sort of flour you have. Flour. You're going to need some different food colourings. Okay, I've got green. Green. I've got blue. Blue. And I've got red as well red. I've also got a container to mix it into so that I don't ruin anything that's quite nice of Amy's and I've got some food bags to put it in afterwards so that I can store it. Now today I'm measuring in something called cups okay I'm gonna give you the same information for tablespoons and teaspoons. Oops. You probably want to wear some old clothes and if you've got long hair, make sure you've tied it up in a bobble. So, first thing you're going to need to do is get three quarters of a cup of flour. So, I've got my half cup and I've got my quarter cup. I'm going to add them together to get three quarters of a cup. That's the same as 12 tablespoons, or 36 teaspoons. The next thing you're gonna need is some water. Now, warm water works better for this. Don't use cold water. Make sure you've got some warm water. And you're gonna need a cup of it. Be careful you don't spill it on your floor. Now we need to mix it. Keep mixing until it's smooth. You'll still have some lumps, but try and get it as smooth as you can. One cup of water is the same as 16 tablespoons, or if you really want to count in teaspoons, you're going to be counting to 48. When you're happy with the smoothness, it's time to add some colour. Now, because I don't want to waste stuff, I'm going to use some of my bags from earlier to keep different colours separate. So I'm going to pour some of my mixture into one of my bags, and then I'm going to add a little bit of food colouring and see what happens. So, now we're at the fun bit, the bit where we add the colour, okay? If you want a really bright colour, you're going to want more food colouring. If you want a really, like, pastel colour, don't put a lot in, okay? I'm going to use red, and I'm going to show you, I want a little, I want quite a bright red, so I'm going to put in a few drops, probably going to put in about six. One, two, three... Four, five, six. Now, part of the reason for putting it in the bag is that you can shake it up really, really easily. Okay, it doesn't get any mess. My kitchen's not getting covered in red paint. Everyone's really happy about that. If you think your paint's a bit runny, add a bit more flour. Congratulations, you just made your own paint. <laughs> 